Hello friends, welcome to engineering tutorial. So, so far we have discussed about uh, the viscosity of fluids which is a very important property associated with fluid and we have discussed about the categorization of fluids on the basis of viscosity and shear stress. Now in this video we are going to discuss about another very important concept associated with uh, viscosity of fluids which is the variation of viscosity with temperature for both liquids and gases. Okay. So again just a quick uh, look at uh, the concept of viscosity which is the property of fluid which offers opposition or resistance to the movement between adjacent fluid layers or the opposition to the movement of fluid. So it uh, is a measure of the degree of internal friction that exists between the adjacent fluid layers. Okay, so and the Newton's law of uh, viscosity which states that the shear stress on the fluid layers and the adjacent fluid layers is directly proportional to the rate of change of velocity between the adjacent fluid layers with respect to the separation distance between them which is called as the velocity gradient. So if we consider this as the various fluid layers and we consider these two fluid layers with a separation distance dy and uh, relative velocities u and u plus du then according to Newton's law of viscosity the shearing stress or the shear stress acting on the fluid is given by tau is directly proportional to the velocity gradient du by dy where tau is equal to mu du by dy where mu is the coefficient of viscosity or we can say that the coefficient of viscosity is tau dy by du okay so this is all about viscosity now what is the relationship between viscosity and temperature okay now before uh, this i would like you to please watch all the videos related to uh, viscosity and the various properties of fluid and then you come to this video so viscosity is affected by surrounding temperature for liquids the viscosity decreases with increase in temperature while for gases it increases with increase in temperature but how and why so viscosity as we know it is a measure of the internal friction between the fluid layers now we know that these fluid layers they interact with one another we we see the fluid as a whole you know but actually it is a collection of many adjacent layers which are uneven in shape here i have uh, represented them in the form of solid rectangle so it is not like that it is uneven in shape and uh, very difficult to identify or dis uh, distinguish two layers but here just for the sake of simplicity I have represented them in this way so because of the interaction of these fluid layers there is friction between the uh, fluid layers which gives rise to shear force or shear stress now then because of the cohesive nature of the fluid layers or the fluid molecules and in case of that that in case of liquids and for gases as the interatomic or intermolecular distance is very high there is momentum of the molecules comes into play okay these two things the cohesive forces between the fluid molecules because of the interaction between the layers and the momentum of the molecules in case of gases 
दीज टू आर अफेक्टेड बाय टेम्परेचर ओके द कोहेसिव फोर्सेस एंड द मोलिकुलर मोमेंटम सो दीज टू आर अफेक्टेड बाय टेम्परेचर एज दीज टू आर अफेक्टेड बाय टेम्परेचर दिस ऑल्सो अफेक्ट्स विस्कॉसिटी बिकॉज विस्कॉसिटी इज बिकॉज ऑफ दीज टू थिंग्स दीज टू फोर्सेस इन केस ऑफ लिक्विड्स कोहेसिव फोर्सेस मोलिकुलर मोमेंटम इज ऑल्सो देयर इन लिक्विड्स बट इट अफेक्ट्स दम टू अ नेग्लिजिबल एक्सटेंट कोहेसिव फोर्सेस आर देयर इन गैसेस बट दैट इज नॉट एज डोमिनेंट एज मोलिकुलर मोमेंटम ट्रांसफर सो both these things are responsible for viscosity and these two are affected by temperature so how viscosity is uh, affected by temperature let's see so viscosity mu and temperature t for liquids are related as mu is equal to mu subscript 0 into 1 by 1 plus alpha t plus beta t square so here mu subscript 0 is the viscosity of the uh, liquid at 0 degree celsius okay a reference value and alpha or bit and beta are constants for the liquid t is the temperature specific temperature at which the viscosity is measured okay so for water this mu 0 is 1.79 into 10 to the power minus 3 and uh, alpha is equal to 0.03368 and beta is 0.000221 okay so this is the relationship between viscosity and temperature for liquids now for gases for gases so here we have already discussed that for liquids viscosity decreases with increase in temperature so here you can make out from this equation when the temperature increases because it is in the denominator when the temperature increases there will be a decrease in the viscosity okay so the this equation confirms this next for gases for relationship between viscosity and uh, temperature for gases so in case of gases viscosity and temperature mu and t are related as mu is equal to mu 0 plus alpha t minus beta t square okay so again mu 0 is the viscosity at 0 uh, degree celsius alpha and beta are constants for the uh, gas particular gas and t is the the temp temperature the specific temperature at which viscosity is measured for air mu 0 is 0.000017 and uh, alpha is 0.00000056 and beta is 0.1189 into 10 to the power minus 9 so here uh, as from this equation you can see that with an increase in temperature the viscosity will also increase to a certain extent okay so this is uh, an important uh, part i just missed that's why i thought i should make a video on it so this is the relationship between viscosity and temperature so we have discussed how viscosity is affected by temperature why uh, temperature affects viscosity and the relationship between viscosity and temperature for liquids and gases so i hope you like this video and please subscribe my channel engineering tutorial for more such videos related to electrical electronics instrumentation and communication engineering have a great day thank you very much